the Golf Channel Academy on the road. Trailers for sale or rent. At first, I was a little concerned about what they had in mind. No way. Not a yet. No chance. End of story. We decided on an RV, packed up, and before I knew it, my San Diego home disappeared in the rearview mirror. If the golf gods allow, our caravan's going to travel 1,200 miles, stopping at six different courses all around Southern California. And along the way, we're going to work with golfers in desperate need of my help. I'm troubleshooter Dean Reinmuth, but you can call me King of the Road. Trailers for sale or rent. Golfer's Journal, Day 3. Out of the desert and back to the beach. Ah, you've got to love the California coastline. After a stop at Indian Wells, we hung a left and headed for the Pacific, and a city called Newport Beach. This morning our caravan rolled into an amazing spot where we can enjoy Newport sun, surf, and some great golf all at the same time. Well, let's see who we got today. Okay, now. I was, I've been watching you a little bit. First, I want to show you something that's set up, and then we'll get to the real cause of your problem, which was hitting it kind of out to the right. Yeah, You'll alternately, if you try to hook it a lot, it'll be a pull hook. Pull hook. Thing. Yeah. yeah, that's what I thought. Go ahead and get set up here first. Now, right here, this wrist, that should set forward just a little more, particularly with a shorter iron. You feel where I'm pushing on yeah. it right there? That should set this way instead of this way. You feel okay. that? Yep, so absolutely. I want you to set it that way and keep that ang keep a little bit of an angle there. That'll reduce itself when you get to a longer club, yeah. but with a short club, you've got to, you've got to get okay. some of that loft off because you've got too much. Okay. And what you'll notice, you see how the ball started to jump? Yeah. You're, used to, you're used to changing that in the downswing. And now you're going to come in. This is what we're going to get to now. I'll grab a couple golf balls here. And what you're going to do is come into the ball from a different angle because you're coming into it too much from the inside. Okay. You think you're coming in from the outside. There's a space right here. Go ahead. Right there. Now, when you come forward from right there, go ahead and come forward slowly. You've got to keep that gap from here to here, which means your club has to travel more down that target line instead of it's coming in from here. You're coming this way, and then you're having to make an abrupt direction change. And you can't square the face up very easily because the face is so open and inside. So when you're coming down, you're coming from this direction yeah. here, severely so. You're almost brushing this thigh. And then right when it gets into here, you're sort of stuck. And then whoosh, you do this to turn it over. So what I want you to do is I want you to follow and we'll put this club here. I want you to try to bring the club down this shaft line from this point here. See that? Okay. Instead of coming in from here. Right. Gotcha. Alright. That's it. Now, the heaviness that you're getting right there, the little fat thing, mm -hmm. well that's because you're so used to going like this, your body weight's not shifting. Yeah. Because you couldn't shift. If you shifted from here, the ball would go farther right. So your body is actually going backwards. What I want you to do, okay. same things now, this ball position in this down that line, I want you to feel like your upper body is going to go that way as you start your downswing. Okay. Now, move your head, nice gradual rotation right down that line. There you go. See the difference? Yeah, I like that. Right. Whenever you're working with a swing, in your case there's a, like a few little details mm -hmm. and then you get to the major ones, alright? The major ones were that the club was coming in here and you had to square it up. Then the second part of that was the head had to shift. Those two things would give you solid contact and the ball goes straighter, except if you're set up with the ball out there and your wrist is here, it makes your change of directions have to do other things. Yeah. So in order, what are your things? Number one. Set the angle at the beginning. Ball, ball position. Because if you don't set the ball position go. far enough back, what? You can't get the, can't get the angle. Be the ball's over there, you can't get your hands there, right? So ball, the ball more towards the back middle. Right. 
hands ahead. This one right has to have, right. set a little bit This better. angle, that's right. Club's going to come down straight that down line. the line. And then a slow rotation of the All right. club face. You missed one, but you did it, but you missed one. in order. <laughs> yeah, that's right. The order is critical here. All right. You're here, right? Hear that. Head that moves, moves forward. Club, club down the line, line, gradual rotation. Good job. Gotcha. Thank you. All right. Now, I'll give you a quiz on that later. <laughs> when you're on the road in your hotel room, you know, they have those towels. They're a little too short for a bath towel, a little too long for a face towel. I like to use this size towel. And what I like to do is I like to use stretching exercises. One of the ones I like the most is to take that towel, throw it over your shoulder, then hold it with your other hand, and slowly pull up on the towel. You have to be careful here because it'll start to hurt if you're not really stretched. And you keep pulling up, hold it to the count of five, exhale, try to relax the muscle as much as you can, then go back again, pull up a little bit farther, hold that to the count of five, exhale and try to relax the muscle. And as that starts to stretch, that's going to help you keep your muscle flexibility, gives you more club head speed, more distance. I have a really bad backswing. I go too far and I tend to slice the ball a lot. You have a bad backswing. What's that mean? I bring it way too far back. Okay. Hit myself in the back of the neck most of the time. Okay. I've watched myself do it in shadows and in video cameras before. Okay. Okay. Now, Corey, um, Tell me again, you, you were working on what in your swing? What are you trying to fix? Fixing my back swing and my forward coming into it. Okay. Into the ball. Trying to get more? More accurate with it. Sometimes I come in too quick. Sometimes I come in from the outside. All right. So you've got a lot of kind of um, general ideas, mm -hmm. but nothing really specific enough. No. All right. Really. Uh, go ahead and get set up. What I see is I see you have a pretty good back swing. Uh, but the forward swing, I don't know if you know what you're doing with it yet. So go ahead and take a practice swing. No ball. Right. All right. Now, what I want to do is um, I, I want you to set up behind the ball. Go ahead. Don't worry. I'm not... I'm not that dumb, Corey. I'm not going to let you swing <laughs> full speed with me sitting right here. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to push the ball forward slowly, just real slow. Keep it along the ground. That's it. Keep it right there. Right there. Follow it. Right there. All right. Now, you see where the club is going, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Keep going forward a little more. Now, you feel how it's not feeling very good there, is it? Mm -mm. All right. The reason is because the face at this point should be turning this way. Now, you feel where the club head is right now? Yeah. Your club head's way over there. You're over this way. You're not following that line. Okay. Because when you get done, you see this line right here when you're looking down? Mm -hmm. That left arm? That left arm should be looking right there. You see that first flag? Uh-huh. When you hit these short shots, when you look right there at waist high, this elbow should be relaxed. Relax it. This arm should be straight. You feel that? Uh-huh. And what you've got is you get here, now pull down with your right arm. You feel where you are now? Yeah. That's pulling the club this way. If you turn the club over at the last second, you go right, right. All right. And if you don't, you go left, left. So we've got to change this part of your swing. The best way to do this is a half swing from here, slow rotation to here. Hold, relax that elbow. See that elbow? This elbow, this right elbow of yours is trying to control the swing. Put it in your right hand. Just take your left off. All right, now go ahead from there. Now start to swing it down slowly. Go ahead, keep going. You're in trouble. You feel how tight that is right there? Mm -hmm. You're using this elbow, you're, you're locked here, and then you've got to flip this. I want you to do this real soft here. Let it rotate like that, you feel that? Mm -hmm. That's what I want your right arm to do. All right, now I want you to make a practice swing just that far. Back okay. to there and forward to here. Same length. There. That's the distance I want you to practice. I want you to practice from the short one here with practice swings like that. Increase the length a little bit and you have to be really careful because when you get up a little higher, it, you're going to pull it right in here. And if you swing full speed trying to hit a golf ball, it'll be going over there. So we've got to first get this base, this under here from shoulder to shoulder. This is what you're doing. 
This is the opposite, which will go dead right. Right. And in the middle of those is that one. See where that toe's going? Uh -huh. Right there. You need to go, this is what I'm doing. That's the opposite. And I want that one. Okay. Okay. You need to practice that. And do it in, you know, five-minute intervals. Just get up in the middle of a commercial or something. Just go, okay, got there. That's, the, that's what I'm doing. That goes over there. I want it to go there. And you should feel that go real fluidly there. If that locks up at all, then you're doing it incorrectly. Mm -hmm. Start at about 20 to 25 yards. When you got that, then you go to another 10 yards. When you get that, you go another 10. Spend about two weeks with that and you've got it. Okay. Okay? Thank Great. you. My pleasure. King of the road. Perched high above the Pacific and on the Newport coast is an absolute jewel of a golf course. Everyone in Southern California knows the Pelican Hill Golf Club, and we were very privileged to spend some time there. The state-of-the-art practice facility we used is just the tip of the iceberg. Head up the hill to the award-winning clubhouse overlooking the club's 36 holes, and you'll know you're in store for a serious golf experience. There's two 18s, both designed by Tom Fazio, the Ocean South Course and the Ocean North Course. Both are equally stunning and challenging. But my personal favorite is the South Course, with several holes playing right along the Pacific Ocean. I pull everything to the left. It used to start with just my short irons, and now it's infiltrated. Ready? Now, how about you? Um, I work on shortening my backswing. Okay. I take it too far back, and I have a tendency to pull it at the top. How do you know you take it too far back? Um, it, it puts me off path. Have you seen it visually? Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm Okay, and where is it? Way dropping down? Right, dropping okay. down to the left right. Right. What I want to do is spend a little time with both of you, and we're going to alternate because I'm going to show you a little how to work with yourself. You both have some technical flaws that appear both in the practice swing and in the swing over the ball, which tells me that your mind isn't clear on what patterns you need to make in order to make a better shot. And so going and practicing hitting golf balls won't really help you until you can really clean up the practice swing. So what I want to do first, go ahead and um, make, a, make a practice swing, no ball. And stop. Don't move. Now, right here, if this is your shoulder, where is the club in relationship to your shoulder? Underneath it or above it? Underneath. Underneath. You were going to say something there. What were you going to say? Well, it shouldn't be there. Oh, good. <laughs> should um, probably be over the hair, right? Very good. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you're answering the question yeah. before I ask them. That's good. Okay. All right. So what I want you to do is try to, try to find the angle. That's it right there. Now, the only thing here is, you feel how that's so stiff? Can you get me back to the same general area, but just a little more relaxed? Now, try to keep the elbows soft. Good, much better, much better. See, one of the problems with that women have is this. Watch, tighten your elbows. See how her, how, how her elbow goes almost indents here, goes backwards? Yeah. Most women's arms do that. Most men, you see yours does the same thing. It reverses. See mine? It's actually curved this way. So one of the technical problems women have from a physical point of view is, for whatever reason, the elbow joints tend to be able to go inward too much, almost over flexible to the inward side. And so it's so much easier for you to get that elbow locked like that. So I want you to swing it back softly and let that elbow stay a little bit. It's going to feel almost a little bent to you. Okay. That will be what we call a, a normal or soft elbow as opposed to one that is locked or rigid. You see what I just did right there? Right. So when that locks like this, that creates a problem over here. I want you to be able to swing it from here over the right shoulder without the elbow locking. Okay. Good. Now go ahead and swing to your finish. Good. Now, the next issue I have for you, and I have two of them. These are the two keys. Uh-oh. Don't not. Another one. I have two flaws. This is bad. All right, go ahead. Swing it back. Now, swing it forward. Right here. You see where your head is right now? Mm -hmm. Your head is back. All right? Now, club is trying to go forward, and when your head goes farther back this way, what does your upper body do? Flips up. It pitches up. Right. right. Now, go ahead and get set here. Now I want you to swing it back to the right. Now swing and go forward. You feel that right there? Oh, yes, but... And then here. There. You see how I'm forcing your elbows to bend here? Mm -hmm. I want your head to move this way, and your elbows are going to bend. All right? Here, here's the, the worst thing that happens to people who are absorbing instruction from any source. You have to remember that the instruction that you're going to 
accept for you mm -hmm. is relative to where your swing is. Mm -hmm. If you had a person whose head's moving too much this way, you'd have to teach them to stay this way. If their head's going this way, they have to go the other way. So you can only collect or absorb the information that's correct for your particular swing. Well, if you don't know what you're doing, mm -hmm. and it's not because you're not trying, it's just you don't have the expertise to know. You don't know what to absorb and what not to. So you're just taking in a bunch of stuff and it's, it's goofing it all up. Mm -hmm. So you want to make it sure it's specific to you and only you. For information about the Dean Reinmuth Golf Schools, call 888-297-DEAN. The most important thing here, don't try to be a hero. You have to think now about how many shots you can save, not about the shots you'd like to hit toward the flag. As I climb up the slope, my options become more difficult because my stance is not possible. As I start trying to turn around and go the other direction toward the back of the green, now all of a sudden I have a stance and I have also opened up a routing to where I can make a decent swing. The most important thing in a situation like this is going to be the next shot you hit. So you have to play and manage yourself around to give yourself the option to get it up and down from the next location. So go ahead and get your stance, get your body posture set, make a nice easy swing and use the next shot to save your score. Okay, now, we've got way more work to do in the backswing than the forward swing. You look really pretty when you swing forward and finish. Just don't Just swing like back, this, right? right? <laughs> but the backswing <laughs> looks kind of like an S-curve. It's going like really? this. Really? Right. I don't yeah. feel Can that. Can I your club for a second? All right, go ahead and get set there. Now, first thing I'm going to tell you is that you have a tendency, you see where that face is right there? Mm -hmm. All right, where are the lines on the face pointed right now? Closed or left? Or where they pointed? Back to your right foot. I'm going to correlate everything to your feet. See mm -hmm. that? Those lines are pointed back to there. You see that? Right. All right. Now, where should they be pointed? Out. That now, way. relax your arms. They should be, relax your fingers. They should be straight up in the air there. Now, when they come down here, no, no see how you want yeah. to twist it? Relax your arms. Mm -hmm. And go back that soft. I don't want that elbows locking up, okay? So you're here, and I don't care where it goes, just loose to there, okay? Now you do it yourself. Oop. Where'd your club go? There and there, right? Yeah, that's a habit. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> really? <laughs> now, look where those lines are again. Yeah. Now this is part of the problem is that you have to remember you'll keep doing the exact same things over and over. Why? Because people are habitual. Right. Once they've learned something, it's hard to change. It's also hard to learn to be consistent at something. So the first step is here. And relaxed arms, right at the elbows. Mm -hmm. Not that straight. Bend them. Okay. Bend them. Mm -hmm. I want them like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Relax your wrist a little bit. Soft. You feel that? Mm -hmm. Good. Right like that. Now, then you're down here. Okay. Now, go ahead and set it. Relax it. See that? It's amazing how hard it is for people to just let their muscles be soft when they've trained them to be stiff. Mm -hmm. okay? You're going to work, you're going to have to work very hard at the first two because you can't get the third step until you get the first two. Mm -hmm. If that face is shut and your arms are locked like this, like a triangle, like a straight triangle, mm -hmm. that triangle won't work. Okay? triangle starts here but by this point you see the elbows bent so okay. it doesn't it's not what you thought it was all right so you get set there I want these elbows soft and bent 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 keep them bent I don't want them straighten at all okay mm -hmm. that is relatively straight start to swing the club back slowly go ahead slowly and I want the club to go from there over this shoulder right here when it feels like it's over this shoulder then you can swing forward okay, okay? Go ahead, start in the beginning. Now, start up here is one. Elbows bent, good. And go to the finish. Correct. Now, you have, you can tell how right about here, you have a tendency to want to do that. 
You mm -hmm. feel that? Turn it All right, yeah. What you want to do is you want this basic setup feeling here to just follow straight straight along that angle of that shaft, which is somewhat to the inside. It's not straight back. Because right. that'll help you get it up over this right shoulder. Mm -hmm. That's what we're looking for. Right. Okay? So if you ladies will follow those couple key steps in that slow sequential order, things will improve. It won't take you about two weeks to reshape this a little mm -hmm. bit. Then you'll be working on speed and contact. But for about two weeks, go real slow and just follow those sequences. Okay? Great. Great. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Appreciate Thank it. You. Thank you. Thanks. Dean. My pleasure. Thanks. Have a good day. Well, I tell you what, I couldn't have a better day than to come here to Pelican Hill. I tell you, I hate to leave this place, but I enjoyed working with everybody. Now, Thank if you. I pop in again, you know, like in a short quiz, you, you, you won't let me down. I promise. promise. All right. Promise. My pleasure. Work. Nice work with you. Nice work with you.